Hello my sparkles of light. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about astral projection. We're talking metaphysics and sleep demon. Sleep paralysis demon. <clears throat> I'm like whispering because everyone's in bed right now. So I want to start with sleep paralysis. Maybe you've had some fears about it, but you feel like you know that there's something that exists beyond this physical world and are curious about experiencing that. The best way to understand something is through experience. You can read a whole bunch of books about it, you can look it up. Until you've actually experienced it, it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what's going on. As soon as you let go of that fear of just not being able to move, it's just a lack of the mobility in your body and it's an altered state of consciousness. Something that's very fearful. Until you've gone further, which is the astral realm. That is a possibility. We are spiritual beings first before this physical body. Our makeup is of energy. Nothing is standing still. We're just constantly moving at this speed so fast that it looks like it's not moving like a table or your body. The human body is a very dense mass form of energy. There are different levels of consciousness which are multiple levels of awareness. Right now we're focused here in this physical plane so there's the physical level of awareness. Then there's also the astral, the casual, the mental, and the etheric. Astral is your consciousness is focused into a lighter dimension, a lighter frequency. Things aren't physical for you to touch, taste, smell. You're lighter on your feet. You're floating when you're on the astral plane. You're not walking. You don't feel the same physical gravity holding you down because it's just a whole nother, a whole nother thing. All these planes of consciousness is beyond our human understanding. No one actually has the exact facts. They just know that there's different levels of planes of existence and frequencies that have been identified with the astral plane how we're here physical other beings are here so the same thing goes in the astral realm it's just that they're not going to be physical beings they're going to be in an astral body in a lighter body however they cannot harm you despite watching freaking insidious don't watch insidious if you want to if you've already seen it i mean yeah but if you want to astral project, especially if you're going to be practicing it, don't watch the videos for a while because that will freak me the fuck out. Don't watch the videos. That is not an ideal movie to give you the facts and information about it. That's pure Hollywood, you know? Where was I? Sleep paralysis. That is the first stage before you have an out-of-body experience, which an out-of-body experience is pretty much like astral projection the only thing to me different when i have an out-of-body experience I feel myself floating just like right above my body i don't actually travel and leave out of my room i just kind of stay like hovering over my body also you can feel like the sinking feeling as if you left your body down into the mattress and that is an out-of-body experience that sleep paralysis comes on the fear of the unknown happens let me just share a quick backstory with you guys because when i had the sleep paralysis it was like so i was in bed with my husband it was probably around like three in the morning you know that those weird hours where you're right in that REM sleep fear wants to come in and play with you I remember I could feel that feeling of fear and I feel like I could open my eyes but I did not want to I could feel from this side of the bed like my husband's side I'm on the right I could feel something coming over to my freaking side of the bed <sighs> oh my god <sighs> So you could just feel the movement, like the fear of the room is just filled in the room. You could feel something moving towards the side of my bed, right? I can't move. I opened my eyes. I decided to just open my eyes because I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I wanna see what this is. For some reason, I got the guts or whatever to, mind you, my husband is fast asleep laying next to me, okay? And there is this, and this is where, I questioned this in the in the title. I questioned it because <gasps> the experience that I've had with this being, I don't know, like I believe in demons. 
I believe in like low vibrational beings that are labeled demons. I don't know if this thing was an alien or a demon. I know people say sleep paralysis demons, but like that felt like it was like extraterrestrial because it was just watching me. It was tall. It was so tall, I remember. And the hands and the body and the legs were not of a human species. It was of a creature and it was white and it's back. Oh my God, I'm getting used to what I'm thinking about. <laughs> it's back, like, it was so tall that it was like touching the ceiling, just looking at me. Its eyes were glowing, a red glow. I remember it being very tall and very thin, but very like muscular, but thin. I just, I looked at it and I quickly closed my eyes. I think I started calling out the blood of Jesus. Like, that didn't work. It felt like I had to wait it out. It didn't touch me. I didn't feel anything like that. This time, as quick as it came in, it was gone. Who knows how long I was sitting there watching before I actually woke in with the sleep paralysis, you know? Fear that can set in, and I feel like I attracted it. I was living in such a fearful state, fearing God and fearing like, oh no, what if I go to hell? And just very fearful, you know? I attracted the negative experience, whether conscious or subconsciously. With that said, the way that I did move past this fear is after I left Christianity, I let go of the fear. You could be a Christian, you could just be interested in astral projection or have had sleep paralysis and the Bible just doesn't have an answer for you because I looked there for answers. I had to seek elsewhere and figure out what was going on. That's when I found out that sleep paralysis can be used to go further to better understand yourself and the nature of reality around you. I stumbled upon information about sleep paralysis being a step towards astral projecting. When the sleep paralysis happens and you wake up in it, I want you to remember that the fear of the unknown, which is what it is because you don't know what's going on, but it's really that your consciousness is gearing up to focus elsewhere. <laughs> it's leaving this, this moment, this physical body whether it's another dream dimension, whether it's the astral plane. It's fearful because you can't move. The loss of control is what it feels like. It feels like you have no control, right? However, when this does happen and you are curious about what the next step is, where your consciousness can focus because it's actually going to focus where you intend it to focus. It's another setting intention thing. And I love to talk about setting intention like I did in my How to Uplift Yourself video. A lot of things that we want to achieve is about setting that intention. If you want to astral project, if you want to experience what's on that astral plane, you set that intention to. So now that you've let go of that fear, now that you understand that there's something beyond this low, dense, physical level that you can focus in somewhere else, a higher plane of existence, then that is something to really get that vibration going. When you're feeling that low negative fearful vibration, what you want to do is switch it and you want to raise it and take your power back, right? By mentally telling yourself, my mind is awake, my body is asleep. You can also, what I like to do, whatever it is that you believe that brings you protection, whether it's angels, whether it's visualizing a white light or a gold light around your physical body or your guardian angels nearby or your ancestors, all beings who are in alignment with your highest path and purpose and who love you unconditionally is something that is important um, to call upon. Is these beings that are gonna be there for you and guide you and protect you and assist you. That's your moment to call upon it, you know? And that brings you into a more peaceful, relaxed state that fear releases. You're really raising your vibration by thinking of things like, I get so excited when I'm like, when I have a sleep paralysis comes now, I'm like, okay, I'm, it's, it's happening, it's happening. I'm about to do, I'm about to do, I'm about to ask you for check, I'm about to do. It's an exciting thing because the things that I've experienced have been so mind blowing. Remember when I was setting my intention to astral project because I was so curious about earth, right? I was like, it's earth flat, it's earth brown. What, I'm like, are we here in a hologram dimension? What's going on? Once I left my body during this astral projection, I thought things happen, things manifest fast in the astral world. I'm outside my body. Craziest thing is just like looking down and seeing your body there. Breathing, sleeping, it's like, it's 
you but it's not you there's just this whole weird disconnect and this whole freeing feeling like you've left this cage oh i see my body there breathing sleeping next to my husband every time i have out of body experience when i'm floating first above before i travel to the astral world I, the animals are around me cats meowing on my bed i could feel their little paw prints pressing in on the bed next to me dogs birds like they're i'm always surrounded by animals it's the craziest thing i do have a connection with animals i feel like a lot of the times i telepathically communicate with them so i do have a strong connection with animals so that's probably why there's something there with that anyway i left my body and thought i want to see earth boom ha huh. earth is not there like we see it from nasa how is this possible is this real is it i imagining this i remember just seeing nothing nothing there nothing but black towards where earth you know earth's area i don't know why i'm getting this when i'm talking about it what the heck i look down it's just a grid of like you know how a laser grid looks it's just this flat grid nothing else is there it was the wildest thing i've also had another one to where i thought that i wanted to go to africa and i just remember flying over animals just running zebras lions flying over them like i could see the tops of their backs and i'm like just flying with them it was just i was in africa it was fucking amazing those are just some of the possibilities it's cool and everything to hang around get in the physical there is I want you guys to understand there's these layers layers of consciousness that we have some you don't even know about but you know you know my current intention when i astral project is to experience a different star system where my guides reside a higher level very high vibrational frequency and in order to do that i have to match that frequency i have to lift my vibration to be able to achieve a higher vibrational experience don't experience any low negative entities ets demons whatever you want to call them anymore right before you get to that out of body experience or being able to astral project your body is going to go through different things you're going to feel your body can vibrate from like inside you're not shaking the whole bed up or anything you know it's like it's an internal thing like during meditation have you ever meditated and then come out of it and your body just feels like it's just vibrating because you're energy is just flowing through you know kind of like that vibration is just that energy flowing through gearing up gearing you up to get ready to go take off like a rocket or something there was one time where i heard bells in my ears there's also been a time where i've heard a buzzing like this little buzzing like that like it could really freak you out or you can utilize that by knowing this is the next step i'm about to leave my body i'm about to experience this best thing too that i want to mention i'm just i don't know why i'm holding my mic to get off topic really quick if you do want me to do any asmrs because i'm so excited about my mic now if you want me to incorporate any asmrs then just let me know okay in the comments down below okay let's get back to astro Practicing this is something that can be fun, can be exciting, can be a whole new journey. It opens you up to a whole new perception of life. If you're looking for something to empower you because you've been feeling, you know that there's something beyond this, your consciousness is awakening to something more than what meets the eye, astral projection is something that you can benefit from then because you'll get to experience it firsthand rather than reading about it, you know? Keep your vibration high so that you're not having low negative experiences. When you do astral project, you're gonna be noticed by other beings who are in these other dimensions and existing in these other realms. They're gonna to start to notice you. This light, they're gonna become aware of you. So you might start having paranormal phenomena happen. Energetic activity happening. You're opening yourself up. Make sure you're keeping your home cleansed. Vibrations high. Don't be fearful of it. Embrace the experience as well as protecting yourself keeping yourself grounded 
if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling down at the moment, if you can't bring yourself to a positive place before you attempt astral projection, just wait, you know, wait until you're feeling good so that you have a beautiful experience, you know? Also, I really feel like it's important too to ground yourself. Ground yourself. I'm an air sign, Libra is my sun sign, Aquarius is my moon sign, and my rising sign. I'm very one foot in the spiritual realm, one foot in the physical <laughs> realm. It has to be a balance. There has to be this grounding place. You want to practice grounding yourself, walking around barefoot outside, meditation for grounding, exercise. Whatever you're feeling inside is going to reflect back to you in your astral experiences. You'll be on that vibe. So everything is about energy, vibration, and frequencies. So it's about tuning to that, that frequency to to get you to that higher vibrational state, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Another thing that you could possibly experience is name being called, like a, a slight whisper. I've heard also like a lot of chatter, like talking. Those are other clues to let you know that you're leaving your body, you're entering into another realm, focusing your consciousness into a different dimension, a different frequency. Another thing to help you let go of that fear is I was saying the calling upon your guides, whatever high vibrational beings that you believe in that are there for you to assist you, call upon them and they'll, they'll come help you. I've called upon my spirit guides to assist me and I felt from the side of my bed, they were pulling me from my body it was the wildest thing you also feel like once you're hovering over your body like you're you're spinning this rotation this spiraling of energy wildest feeling <laughs> being outside of this physical body let me tell you i think it's part of why i'm a little bit crazy i'm actually a little bit reserved and as my videos go on the craziness will just probably continue to come out the more i get comfortable so get ready yeah so um let's go into just a little bit of the techniques once you're feeling that sleep paralysis, protect yourself, letting yourself know that you're safe. So you want to be in a completely total relaxed state. Once you're in that relaxed state, it's visualizing. You visualize. Visualizing is so powerful, you guys. I like to visualize myself outside of my body. So in my mind, I'm mentally seeing myself hovering, looking down at my body. It's crazy because kind of happens sometimes when I'm putting makeup on. I'm just kind of weird. I'm just a strange being, okay? So if you don't, then I guess I'm alone in it. <laughs> I feel myself outside of myself putting on my makeup. Totally irrelevant, but it's great to build that visualization skill. Another technique is visualize my astral body rolling away outside of my physical body. So you visualize that. I've had most of my successful out of body experiences on my back when I'm actually self-inducing it. I'll make sure that I'm on my back and that I'm not completely sleepy to where I'm just going to fall asleep. So another technique is going to be the rope technique. When you're laying on your back, visualize an ethereal rope coming down and you visualize like pulling your spirit body, pulling itself up on this etheric rope away from your physical body, up and out, you know? <laughs> So that's another technique. So a lot of these techniques, you guys, really the key thing to me feels like getting past that fearful point and experience it for yourself and discover the truth, then you will have a good experience with it. Your intentions are good, it's gonna be good. Anything, if you have good intentions, you're gonna have a good outcome. Do you have any questions about it? Please leave them in the comment section below. I will answer any questions you have covering completely everything because I didn't want this to be a super long video. Be empowered while you're here in this physical realm because you guys, I, since I have, like I told you, that one foot in the spirit realm, one foot in the physical, that's been my struggle. I'm still learning every day and the more that I learn, I have to share the wisdom and share the knowledge with you. It's something that takes time. Don't give up on it. Keep going, keep practicing. It's gonna happen, it will happen. Just keep going, be consistent with your practices and it will happen, okay? So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I made sense to you. I hope I gave you some insight. I hope I've inspired you to keep going and to astral project and experience that astral aspect of yourself. If you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I upload. Thank you so much for watching. Stay meditated. I will see you soon. Bye.